Well, from the Great Plains to the Deep South, tens of millions of Americans are facing stormy weather. A tornado blew through northern Alabama last night, killing at least one person and injuring 28 others. A heavy snowstorm threatened much of the Midwest and is now heading east. Adriana Diaz has the latest from Chicago. Commuters, you will encounter snowy roads sometime in your driveway. Across Nebraska, through Arizona, and into California, whiteout conditions are wreaking havoc on roadways throughout the country. It's pretty messy right now, slick, real slick, icy. Here in the Midwest, the snow and ice's impact is taking its toll, causing multiple accidents and collisions. We can't keep that snow melted fast enough. Street crews in Omaha are struggling to clean up the snow the city's under a snow emergency declaration until further notice. With more snow expected on Wednesday, we just don't have an end date to it yet. In the south, severe weather touched down in several Alabama counties after a twister tore through the city of Fultondale, destroying this hotel and several homes. A lot of cars off the road. Drivers as far west as Arizona are warned not to travel at all as the northern section of the state continues to be blanketed with snow. Gusts of nearly 50 miles per hour snapped power lines in neighborhoods near Phoenix. What a trip! It's snowing in Hoopa Valley. And in a rare sight, cities in Southern California experienced light snow, enough to snarl traffic, leaving some roads looking like parking lots. More snow is expected today as another storm approaches. Today, the National Weather Service will be on the ground in Alabama surveying the damage from that tornado. As for us here in the Midwest, we're expected to get seven, yes, seven more days of heavy snowfall. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, Chicago. Coming up on Valley News Live at 4, if you had a cruise booked, you might want to double check your itinerary. The dates now added to the cancellation list are next.